Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, here in UPW, my name is Grim the Clown, your self-proclaimed 666 wonder of the world, and today we present to you Peach Cop. Moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. Peaches come from a can. All right, so check it out. So here's how we're gonna start this recipe. We're gonna take one stick of butter, and you're gonna take your pan, and you're gonna take the stick of butter, and you're gonna put that in your preheated oven. Make sure that you use real butter. You do not use the fake margarine. I don't know how many times my wife has told me not to do that, but check it out. We're gonna put that in the oven, and we'll be right back. All right, so next we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. We're gonna take one cup of flour here. Then we got some baking powder. As you may have seen on the pre-done screen there, what you all need, you need some salt and a cup of sugar. Dry ingredients first, people. Dry ingredients first, people. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our obnoxious, really big whisk here, and we're gonna mix it all together. By the way, we're making the batter. All right, so once all that's in the mix good and nice and good, what you're going to do is you're going to take your milk. You're going to pour the milk in. And then you're going to take your one egg. I don't know how to crack with one hand, so don't ask me. Ooh, that one was a shooter. All right, so what you're going to do next is we're going to whisk this all good together and get our batter nice and going. And we'll be back after this is all mixed together. I never thought this would happen to me. I do it all the time. I lost my job because of it. It's ruining my relationships. If I would just take half a second to look before I hit send. <gasps> oh my god. Why do I always do this? Ugh. I texted my boss to give me erections. I meant to say directions. Sometimes I don't even notice when it happens. Why would you say that? If autocorrect affects you or anyone you know, we're here to help. Double check. Proofread. Pay attention. Brought to you by Autocorrect Victims Anonymous. Can't you just turn it off? No, no, I can't. I need it. And I don't know how. All right, so while our butter is still melting in the oven, we're gonna add our batter to that as soon as it's ready. But we're gonna go ahead and move on, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and peel and cut our four cups of peaches. Now, always remember that real people use real peaches, not that canned peach shit. If you use canned peaches, you need fucking Jesus, people. So, but because of time restraint, I went ahead and I cut some peaches up earlier, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Now what we have here is we have a little bit of nutmeg that we're going to add in and we also have a little bit of dried cinnamon as well. Now the extra thing which you going to make your blood sugar go up is one cup of sugar to go with it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get messy. I'm going to take my ring off and you're going to dive right in like you're, like you're enjoying nice sweet peaches. Real men like peaches people. But you're going to mix that up nice and good, get all that sugar and all them spices mixed up all nice and good until it's feeling like it's nice and juicy just like your wife is at night. You just want to make it nice and good. But like I said, people, make sure it's real peaches, not canned peaches, damn it. I can't tell, I can't tell you how many times we tell, we tell people here to use real peaches when you're making peach cobbler. Today, some airlines go out of their way to please you. Time for the movie. I don't want a movie. Uh, 
fire or it's steak. I don't want a movie. But I want it steak. I don't think he wants the movie. At PSA, we never lost sight of what an airline should be. So at PSA, we give you more planes and less fancies. We give you low fares, not fanfares. PSA, our smiles aren't just painted on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we got our, our pan here with our melted butter. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this. Now, I cannot stress enough about the peaches. I know I did earlier, but only devil worshippers use canned peaches, damn it. So you're going to use real fucking peaches. So anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to take your batter and you're going to pour it over that butter. Make sure that you use your spatula. What you're going to do is you're going to get all that batter out. Now, one important thing to remember is that you are going to spread this into the pan. You're not going to stir it. Do not stir it. I cannot fucking repeat myself over and over. Do not fucking stir. Now, now that we got all the batter out, what you're going to do is you're going to take the peaches and you're going to do the same fucking thing. You're going to take those peaches and you're just going to gently put them over just like when you put your wife into bed. You're going to put her nice and gently. Same thing, you're going to spread it, not stir it. Now, once we get all that put in there and nice and good to go, this is actually going to go into an oven at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. So, we will be right back. I didn't know I could catch it on the playground. All I did is trade Lunchables. Every year, two million kids are infected with cooties. I thought cooties was something that happened to other kids. Cooties! I just wanted to play tag. I never thought I'd be it. And the numbers are growing. I blame myself. I made a big mistake. And even though a vaccine is available, Circle, circle, dot, dot, now you have the cootie shot. Most children never get inoculated. You may have cooties and not even know it. Speak to your kids about cooties before cooties speaks to them first. What do I do now? Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it, our fine peach cobbler. Notice how it's nice and golden brown all the way through. It smells fantastic. Now, what we gotta do is go and cut it up into equal portions and get our ice cream and get a couple other things and we'll be set and ready to go. All right, welcome back. All right, so we got a couple of extra things as you can see in front of us. We got our vanilla ice cream that'll go nice and lovely with our uh, peach cobbler. You got us a cup full of ice, a Dr. Pepper, and then we got some Fireball Whiskey. Uh, compliments of Shooter J, which we appreciate your contribution to us here at the show. We know how hard you work for your alcohol. Um, we also have a bottle of Jameson in the back as well. So we're just gonna pour just a little bit over that ice just to get us a nice good flavor to go with that. Always keep it chilled by the way. It tastes better that way. Take that, you take your Dr. Pepper. Make yourself a nice cold drink. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into this peach cobbler. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can get a nice good look at what this, this peach cobbler is gonna look like. And that is my cat walking in front of the damn screen. Yeah! Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. It never fails. Oh man, man this, that's just gorgeous. I mean, let's let's get a close up of that. Now, let's show you guys a little bit of that. I mean, come on. How nice is that? All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice slice. Oh yes, which by the way, don't use knives in your wives. Uh, pan, non-stick pan, she'll kill you. So we're going to take that, we're going to give us a nice, good, healthy serving of it. 
and we're going to take our vanilla ice cream and we're going to place that right on top. Just going to place that right on top and bam, there you have it folks. You have homemade peach cobbler on Monday Night Mayhem. Well, folks, we definitely do appreciate you tonight joining us as we make homemade peach cobbler here at Monday Night Mayhem. You know, I raise this to you, and I'm going to enjoy my peach cobbler. Hey, don't you have a match tonight? Yeah, it's, it's cooking night. No, you have a promotion tonight. Yeah, I had a, a, a cooking challenge promo against, uh, who, I don't even remember his name anymore, uh, I don't even remember now. Uh, shit. I'm fairly sure it wasn't cooking night tonight, baby. The bounty hunter. That was a guy named. See, I needed a piece of uh, a piece of cobbler. Son of a bitch. Fuck yeah.